And that, that's interesting. I've had post-show discussions with people about, well, was it really that bad? And yeah. some people are like, this was horrendous. This behavior was absolutely horrendous. And the parents ignoring it um, or, or poo-pooing it was horrendous. Uh, and then others who were arguing with those same people across the bar saying, because um, we always have discussions at a bar, um, <laughs> saying, you know, that's just brothers. That's just yeah. roughhousing. And more so than normal. So it's... Um, uh, that's a very good question, and I think it's when it happens to you and you feel isolated um, the way David does, um, I think you do hang on to it more. And maybe he does blow it up a little bit. But, well, I um, don't think he blows it up. Like, I don't think he maliciously blows it up or is no, no, advocating right. for, the, for the purpose of any kind. I think he genuinely feels it, but it's just that when you're on the outside of that person's feelings, yeah, no, yeah. it's very easy to trivialize or to be like, it's that's magnified not magnified that when it happens to you. It's, exactly. There's a line in the script. It's like, uh, how can you remember this? I can't swear, can I? Oh, yes, you can. Oh, great. Oh, I've wasted so much time not swearing so far. Curse uh, away. <laughs> well, fuck. Um, <laughs> No, the, uh, there's a line where he's like, I don't remember half the shit. How do you remember this shit? And then he's like, because I'm the person the shit happened to. Yeah. Um, but still, I think, that, you know, we can't, we can't uh, get past the fact that forcing your brother to get high when he's 11 years old is pretty awful. Um, and, um, and punching him in the face when he's sleeping is pretty awful. Uh, so, and repeatedly doing so. Uh, and not having the parents step in, and at least from my perspective, I believe that they knew exactly what was happening. Um, so then he shows up, and he's not made anything of his life after I have, and he's denigrating me because I'm because calling me out for essentially the things I'm doing, which is um, judging my worth on based on what I have now. Um, and that's part of that. Yeah, still needing it. Yeah, and the argument that sort of... Um, yeah, it is exactly, and the argument that that is uh, that that uh, surrounds this point um, is what eventually leads to me kicking him out again. Right. Like, uh, can I stay in your house? By the way, your house is a house of cards yeah. that's made of lies, and you're full of shit. Right, right. right. You're full of shit, and is, you need this. I got everything I need in my bag. You know, I can, I can, uh, I could just hitchhike and do whatever I need. But I really need a place to stay. Yeah, exactly. And that is infuriating to David, um, especially when he starts. Uh, yeah, when he starts mocking in front of my son, which is another scene. I'm, we're telling that, you the whole plot. I think that would be infuriating to anybody. Oh, absolutely. Know, like, the yeah. wet, no matter where you fall in the political spectrum, um, you can you can absolutely buy what what David gets, what pisses David off. <laughs>